Okay, so here we are. I have put up this beam. I'm gonna continue it all the way. And then I'm gonna put one, I think I'm gonna put it there. And then I think I'm gonna see if I can put a beam up here uh, and have three or here and there. I don't know because it's a little tricky here. It's, it's a hole here and here and here. So I don't really know how to do it up here and uh, then I have these cables running here so yeah we have to see but I got this one up and it looks really good really good I think so I think it looks really good so yeah it's just continuing this process along here and it took no time actually I promise I will be soon out in the van and continuing. But first, I'm gonna finish this up. I don't like that it's it's moving a little bit, but it's it's the flex in the you know, the metal on the box side, uh, that's flexing. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the beam on the bottom side. So I have that one on the bottom side. And then I'm gonna put cross beams, uh, three, four, just to secure that one with this one. And that's gonna make it super sturdy. That's also gonna make it more easier to actually screw in things into the wall. So that's what I'm gonna do on the bottom side. And I'm actually looking here, and if, if I'm looking from here to here, it's actually more straight than it was before. So that's good. And the window is not going in too much. It's, it's in a little like this, but that's because of the wall. Then I'm looking up here, and you can see that the window frame is actually going out some, so that I'm gonna be able to put one here and still have it straight, more straight than it is now and have another support here. I can actually put the support here, but what I'm thinking is that if I'm putting a support here, maybe I don't need one here. Maybe I can move this one up here and just make it to raise it out so it's nicely flush like this. And then I can put up a little bit more insulation and things like that. So making it a little bit easier because at first glance, I was actually thinking of uh, screwing everything to the metal just to save space, but hey, it's a couple of centimeters. And yes, in this area, it's a lot, but it makes it super duper more complicated than, than just wasting that space. But instead of wasting it, wasting it, I put the insulation there. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit warmer in here because this is fun and dandy and, and it's really nice. 
but as for now I have no home I have I have a home but I have no house and I have no home that I'm can calling my own this is my home and for now I'm sleeping in my dad's house and that's fine but I, I need my own space and the thing with this is to actually get out that's the point to get out I want to explore this earth at least the corners I can explore and I'm not gonna overcomplicate. I don't think you should do that either just do what works don't overthink just build and and you're gonna figure stuff out on the way and I'm thinking like this even if I have to redo something because I did it wrong the first time if you are like me that overthinking is paralyzing that means that you can go weeks thinking about something never coming to a conclusion and not get anything done instead of just do what seems good in one day realize it's not good take it down and redo it and you find a solution and that took two days instead of two weeks so yeah don't overthink things if you have a good idea do it So here is the wheel well cover. I'm gonna have this because under the bed, for example, I'm gonna have storage. I just want to protect the Armaflex on the wheel well, but at the same time, I can get in a little bit more insulation because this is a square and not round. So yeah, to protect what I'm gonna have in that storage, like uh, maybe cloth for the bed or something like that, I'm gonna send this off, take away as much as possible of these pointy corners and then I'm gonna paint it white, just to protect it. One of them looks a lot better than yes wood and here is the other one and yeah don't mind the mess it's just as it should be so you know but yeah here is the other one and here is the first one so it looks really good so I'm gonna put it into the van tomorrow Something like this. I just countersink so the bolt head will be flush with the wood. And then of course I make a, as big hole as the bolt. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go out and mount this and <coughs> show you how it's done. So I'm using a step drill bit to enlarge the holes. These two that's already there. And I'm going up to, I think it's 14 because I'm using M10 rivet nut and they are quite big so and I'm using this because the holes are already here and this is the only one I have. not lie to you but these rivet nuts can be pain to get in especially when it's M10 the smaller one is not that bad but you need a little bit of muscle to crimp this but yeah it works it works so something like that two rivet nuts in place and now I can go ahead and mount this. So for mounting that I just use two washers 
and I'm gonna get the nuts. Get the nuts. I'm getting the nuts. So here's the nuts. It's uh, they are M8 and then 30 millimeters thick or deep threadwise, and that's perfectly fine. And then I'm just using a regular wrench. So put it in. Like that. Take the other. Something like that. And then it's off to just tighten it. done with the, the framing of the walls so this is how I did it it looks like actually looks quite nice I don't know if this gonna work 100% but I think so I will be back in another video finish this off because I don't think it's more to show here uh, I framed the walls and it's done. So next up is I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna put up some bed frames and such. So that's gonna be a fun episode. So if you like this one, please press the thumb button. If you got some value out of this, please type in the comments down below on what you get out of this video because I'm curious and it's fun to know if you get out anything of what I'm doing here. So and I hope you like this video. Uh, and if you did and want to see the next one uh, that comes in a week or two, please subscribe. And with that said, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.